Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and today we're going to create our character class as well as creating the generator script that's going to create our character when we first start the game. So with that said, let's just open up our project. So we'll hump Unity and we'll create a new script. So we'll go into our scripts folder, our character classes, right click, create a new C sharp script and we'll call it player character double click it to open it up into mono development there we go we can get rid of the using statements and make sure to inherit from our base character class And let's get rid of the stuff it adds for us. We'll just save that off. Actually, we don't forget to rename your class. Quick check, make sure there's no errors. Okay, now we'll be adding other inheritances here at the end through interfacing. But for now, let's just move on to the character generator. So we'll make another script, C sharp. And we'll just call this one character generator. Double click it to open up mono development. And then rename your class. Okay. So the first thing we're going to want to have is a private reference to a new character that we're going to create. So we'll just say private character or player character and I'm just going to call mine tune. Now since this script is going to be used to create our character when the player first joins the game, uh, we're going to want a new scene. So let's go ahead and set that up right now as well. So we'll close down the scripts folder. I'm going to create a new folder for my scenes. And I'll just call them scenes. Of course, I'll try to spell it right. I said try, right? <laughs> All right. So we'll move our old scene in there. And if I can get it open, I'm going to right click and create a new scene actually do it this way okay that didn't work right new scene and we'll save the new scene as uh, character generation I'm going to drag that into my scenes folder and double click it to make sure that's my active scene and if you really want to make sure go over to your other scene you'll notice it changes then go back okay now that done I have my main camera it's the only thing there I'm gonna open up my script folder I take my character generator script and just click it right at click it and add it that says it can't be added the names do not match so I might have spelt it wrong let me check I just didn't save it. So make sure you save it. So we'll take it and try it again. And if we look, it's right there. So there's no errors. We hit play, nothing should happen. Okay, so let's start creating our character. Now let's go down to our start method. And we're going to initialize our tune character. So we'll say tune equals new player character. Now this is going to give you a warning when you start your game up. Actually, even before you start it up, it's going to say that. The, uh, let me see here. That's the assigned value one. Now, when you start it up, you'll notice you get this warning that you can't use new with mono behaviors. And actually, you can. It still works. 
it's not the best way to do it and later on we'll come back and get rid of that warning but for now let's just do it this way here because it's a little bit easier for everyone now you're going to want to decide how you want your character generation screen laid out in the screen and my original one I just let me clear these my original one I had you know the player name then the the stats listed down here your primary attributes and I had a bunch of sliders with the values at the end and then below that I had my health and my my skills uh, I wasn't really happy with that layout so I'm gonna try something a little bit different I'm gonna keep the name in the same spot and my primary attributes in, in the same spot as well as my vitals but instead of having these big sliders which take up a lot of room I'm going to just have a little plus and minus button to increase and decrease the values. And I'll see how that looks. So I'll go back into model development. And I'm going to go down to my on GUI function. Now I've had a lot of emails about the on GUI function. Uh, a lot of people just spell it wrong. Make sure it's a capital O, small n capital G, capital U, capital I. A lot of people are keeping the U and the I uncapitalized, like so, and it's not working. You have to capitalize those letters. Okay, so first thing I'm going to want to do is display the name. I'm just going to put it down as a label. Actually, you're going to have to have the user enter the name, so you're going to want to have it as a text area. So let's create the label for it first. Don't forget the new before the rect. I'm going to put it at 10, 10. This is just going to say name. It's not that wide, so it's about 50 and we'll make it 25 high. Save it off, go check it out, make sure it's in the right spot. It's right. So let's add what the player enters here. Now text area for on GUI. Let me actually open up the official documentation for it. So you notice there's quite a few different ways that you can call your GUI text. Uh, but basically you want to look at the fact that it returns a string and it displays a string. And down here they'll show you the JavaScript version of it, which is almost the exact same as the C Sharp version. So let's go ahead and add that. So tune.name is equal to GUI dot text area. Now you'll want a new rect and what to display, which is going to be tune dot name. Now where we want to display it. I'm already going over ten and fifty, so that's sixty, so we'll go over sixty five down 10. We'll give them a bit more room. We'll do 100 and it's 25 high. Now this will probably give you an error at first. Let's go back to Unity. Make sure you saved it. Start it up and you get this error. So your clamp position. Now when we instantiate our character it doesn't call our awake function in our base class right here. So we're going to have to call that manually. Later on when we create the character as a singleton, we won't have to do it, but we'll cover singletons a little later on. So we're just going to say tune dot awake. And now when you try it, it should be fine. So we'll clear these errors. And there we go. We know this awake fired. I added that line of code right here. I don't need it. It's not needed anymore, so I'm just going to get rid of it. 